Hi everyone, it's the Canny Crafter, and we are here to make the cover of our journal. Or should that be journals? As I feared, <laughs> I made too much. So what I've done is, I've taken signature one and signature three, and it's going to be a two signature. Then signature two, I've divided into two signatures for another journal and then you'll never guess what there was enough pages that I printed out left over to make a third journal so I'm working on that in the background do you want a little a little sneaky peek I think that's also two signatures or is it just the one? Oh, I think it's two here is like one of the signatures I don't know where I've put the other one I had a quick tidy up to, um, to film this video. I love this. Did I get this from him? Um, was it MS Scrapbusters? I can't remember. I thought that was a cute idea. I used the wrong glue, so I had to put a fabric ruffle label. It's cute. So, that is the third journal. But we are concentrating on. Sorry, just. I get yuck everywhere. Chunky monkey. So the plan is still to use the jiffy bag because I love how this feels. Now I am debating turning this jiffy bag down and just using like one half of this journal and one half of the other journal. But it's quite a thin jiffy bag, so you know what? I think I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna use it all to let the seal that up. A good measure. Okay, so this does fit just about. Can we listen to the sound of it? It's amazing, but it's too tall. So I am thinking, I don't know if you can see that there, if I cut up to this barcode. It should give us what I need. So let's say I'm bringing the scissors. Scissors, I'm saying it again, people. Oh, <laughs> I was editing the last video and I kept going out of frame. You know what I think I need? You know when you go bowling and you step over the line and there's like a buzzer or something? That's what I need. So when I get to here, I need it to go and I'll be like, <gasps> and push it back in frame. Ah, okay. I thought I was going to make a popping noise because I was cutting it, but it's not, and I'm very disappointed about that. I'm going to pour this over with a neat neck of a smidge. So, is that the end of. Yeah. to be exact. Right, I can go in the bit. Do I want to put the squidge of glue along here? I think I will. I'm trying to think what we can use this for. The teeny tiny journals? I don't know. Let's just put that to one side. I don't want to throw that away yet. Okay, let's run some glue. Um, you can't see what I'm doing. Run some glue along here. Stick that down. Some glue on the other side to stick that plastic down. And then some glue between the plastic and stick that down. I just feel like I had to do that. I don't know if you actually did, but I wanted to, so I did it. Look at the state of that. I know I said I didn't have to be exact, but that's shambolic. Okay, so we know this is the right length now. 
have to double check my height. Let's just take one signature. Yep. Okay. So, I feel like not chicken tonight. Are we having chicken tonight? We are. We're getting the cubby. We're having chicken tikka masala from our favourite Indian. I think we're having a curry tomorrow as well. Another chicken tikka masala. <laughs> okay. I feel like to get the most juice out of my fabric, I want to put this top the bottom like that, but then my print will be going the wrong way. But does that matter? I do. I want the print the right way. Not yet, and I don't know what I'm doing for the inside of the um, cover either. I just know how I'm decorating the outside. Because I do feel like it's not just going to be all this fabric. I'm going to put other stuff on it. So what's it going to matter? Because I love this fabric, I just want to hold it. So I just want to use it to its best capacity. So you know what? I am thinking. I mean, is it ridiculous to have it going? That way. I don't think it is. Okay. I am going to be a bit generous in how I tear this down though. I do think I want to use pink and shears to go around the edges. So we had noise outside if you hear that. They go, hoo, 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 hoo. So, look at this generously oversized to that. So, let's get the pink and shares. Did I get the pink and shares out or did I put them on? You don't want to cut out the paper pink and shares. Did I? I did. I got out there. They're no good. That's what happened. Yay! Yeah. We need the big guns. We need these. Look, beasts. Okay, so if I start at this edge, I don't know. Oh, you know what it is? This is the type of fabric that is not overly keen on pink and shears. And I don't know why that is. So is that a non-starter? Because this is the situation. That is not a beautifully pink and sheer edge. That is a mess. So, what can be option two? I could overlap it. It's probably very short, difficult. Or I could glue it on like this. Should we just do that? Okay, let's take off this edge a bit. I've got enough. And we'll keep that in the scrap box. Okay, I had a tool. This is my tool. It is a silicon makeup brush. It is covered in glue. Hold on. I had a funny curved edge, I'm assuming, for the contours of your face. So I'll cut it straight. <sighs> does that back show do that fabric? No, it does not, because I don't know what I'm going to do on the other side. We will glue this side down first. So, I think. I'm using, hang on, I'll finish a sentence. I think I'm going to put the glue all over. I'm using Beacon 3 in 1. Now, you may have heard of Beacon Forever Pack. Basically, this is the same stuff but half the price. Now, I'm going to spread it out a smidge because I found when you just put it on like that, 
sometimes the lines come through the fabric depending on your choice of fabric. And I'm not going to be too precise about this. Is that just hard? Is that clean enough to go over that fabric? Now we'll have to address these corners. I've seen people come in at an angle here, go out at an angle there. I think I'm going to have to come in closer to the edge of the envelope. Missed on my corner already. Mm. And all of these scraps I will be keeping. See if I did that corner better. That corner's better. Okay, I went too close. That's what I'm not keeping. Hmm. I will figure something out. That other corner. We may just end up using a patch of fabric. Run some glue down here. We can get it out of the bottle. I feel like I should at least have a rag or something to put that on. Okay, pull that over. Pull it down. I always feel like doing opposite corners is better. Oops. All over my hands. What I didn't show you what I did in these signatures, it was essentially the same. We'll have a flip through at the end when it's all put together. Okay. that corner when we are done. Let's glue over here. So I don't know if you can see I've got a little peep there.
have a little peep here. So what can we do to solve that problem? Yeah, see, looks fine that way. Let's just check. Oh, listen to it, amazing. Okie dokie these corners we could always let's put in some of these i was gonna see what was i gonna say we could always get book corners for them but i don't want book corners i'm wondering if we can patch it up with something Like this. So that will go over there. Essentially, like you would with washi tape, but how would I? Hold on. No, I wouldn't do it across. Would I? Or would I do it across here? It's not going to work because I don't know how to do the corners. How much of this is left? I could possibly. that over and then patch the inside with a piece of fabric I think we get away with patching the inside with some fabric by the time we put something over this Am I out of frame again? No, I'm in frame. Hurrah. I feel like that is going to be the best solution. So these are just actually what I cut off the corners. <laughs> Just reinstating them. See, I don't know what I'm going to put on the inside of the cover. Should we figure that out next? Because I don't want any more of this fabric. Because I'll not be able to get a neat enough finish on it. Let's cut my 
good so for me. Whoops. A quick glue finger. But like I say, I do want to stitch that down there. And I think that'll solve that problem. I have to wait until some glue dries. Okay, so let's mark up some sort of stuffs. Sort of design. I'm thinking maybe just paper for the inside. Okay. stuff which came from an old neck curtain and I thought this was cute but maybe not all of these little bobblets Do I want that? I do. I want that sort of underlay. Okay. I do want to put, I don't necessarily have to do on the back. What else did I pull out? I have this, which is block head on glaze, perhaps? It's a good bit for stamping on. I think we'll put off this zigzaggy bit. We've got five minutes left on this, so Gordon. I've got to remember this is quite a broad fine. Who learns that's a minute ago? Yes, it is. Thought I was recording and I wasn't. Forgot I turned it off to go and answer the door. Oh my goodness. Well, anyway, I've done all of this without you. <laughs> I was going to take it off and start again, but I thought, no, I can't do it. It's too pretty. So, I mean, I may have to take a picture, take it off to apply it. Um, so, basically, I've had these made for ages. Um. And I was just waiting for the right journal. So I think that's going to get dangled through there. I've got, I added, what did I add? Where did I leave you? Lace, lace. All these buckles I've had for ages as well. And I nearly forgot about them. But I just feel like some nice hardware on the front of this cover is what this journal needs. So, hmm. I'm going to do sewing with the machine because I want it to almost be quilted. Um, do I have a cover to show you? I don't have. Do I have a cover to show you? I don't think I do. I'm not looking. Where is it? No, I don't. Anyway, when you stitch into the bubble wrap, it, it's sort of like, you know, a quilt. 
<laughs> I don't know how to describe it. I'll show you. You get like raised bits and then it's just, it's a lot more tactile. Anyway, so that is what I want to do. But it's going to be hard. I don't even know if this is where the, um, the what's it, the spine is going to be. I've just sort of guesstimated. <laughs> But you know what? If it isn't, I don't care. We can be off now, we can be wonky. That's our prerogative, it is our journal. So I think what I am going to do is take a picture of this on my tablet, remove the bits, start sewing them on. I don't know. I don't know if I want to sew across the top first or after. Because I'll be sewing along the bottom and down the side, so it makes sense to sew across the top, doesn't it? I think I'll do that after. Okay, so, yes. Take photos. Take lots of photos. I may take a photo of overall, and then I may come in and zoom in on bits. These are going to have to be hand-sewn, obviously. Because I don't think the sewing machine would appreciate chunky metal. Um, so, yes. That is the course of action. And I will come back when it is all sewn together. So I have stitched the cover. I'm disappointed. <laughs> it's not as poofy and quilted as I thought it was gonna be. It just seems like a very, it doesn't even look like a jiffy bag anymore. It's just so flat, there's none of that cushiness. I'm just, I'm disappointed. It still looks pretty though, I think. Um, and once we put in the two signatures approximately there, it does, it looks alright. I just wish it was more tactile. So, plans, oh no, I'll have to go back and catch that in. Plans changed a little bit, as in this is now on the inside, but that's not anywhere at the minute, that's just floating. I just, I cut off a little bit of lace bit for that corner and I pushed this flower over at this corner. I just thought it looked more finished like that. So it gave us two seconds and I'll go and catch this bit in. So I've got in that seam. <laughs> Did you ever notice that? Okay, <clears throat> so I'm thinking to add a bit more Mm, to it because it's a bit flat I would hand sew on some buttons so I have completely disregarded one set of these buckle things but this set I want to try and incorporate into the closure so that's going to be fun first of all I think let's stitch these buttons on so to in keep with the hand stitching on the inside in keep who knows um and then I'll just thread this needle. <clears throat> I'm going to use the green thread. Like so. And I do think I am just going to do the buttons on the front. So we'll just go through this a few times. Now it did take a lot lot longer than I thought to do the stitching on the machine. I had a lot of problems with my machine. It seemed to be working fine and then it's decided it, it doesn't like the tension setting it's on anymore which is like the standard recommended setting that the manufacturer has put in place. So have I just abused it too much? That is the question. But we got there in the end. I, mean, I do want to go through quite a few times because it is the front of the journal and it is going to get a lot of wear and tear and abuse. So just like that. And did I show you the state of the inside of the cover? This is all of the problems I was having with my machine. So, you know, but we'll cover it up. We're going to cover it up anyway. 
It just means we're definitely really going to truly cover it up. But no one will ever know. We have a little secret. Okay, so there's one button there. Very cute. It's not of our thread again. And I think I'll put this one down in the opposite corner. So yeah, I think the quality of my dippy bag let me down somewhat. And maybe the amount of sewing I had to do on it just to flatten everything down. I mean, you can sort of see the poofiness here where there's not much else going on. So maybe it was that. And maybe next time would putting in like a sheet of wadden help, I wonder? really book it up I don't know that's something to experiment with though and I will also say <laughs> the amount of times this lace I have sewn it so this lace here I wasn't making sure it was out of the way like that so there's been a lot of unpicking especially at the edges so be mindful of that <laughs> make sure you clear the decks so to speak okay this little one is gonna go in this little flower and i added that little flower i don't think that was on the original the original plan but as i was going along like i say things change it was just when I did the back, I thought, oh, the back looks like it's got more than the front. <laughs> so, yeah. Ah! Get through the button! Get through the button! And this next button I've pulled out, you don't know how I'm going to stitch it in. I think I'm going to get a longer piece of thread actually. I got up through the eye first time. I think this thread might be too long. I think I might end up in a knotted mess. You just can't win with these things, can you? Okay. So I want this one to go here. But that's where the holes are. So how to do this? We'll pull that through there. That through there. And then pull the needle back through. Okay, now it's just... Right, I think we're going to have to go through put it to the other side oh, this is a difficult button and I was mindful not to go for any buttons with like a shank on them apart from this one but well, it isn't the shank but it's quite a chunky button because I didn't want something getting caught and ripping off and I always find with the shank buttons they're a little bit loose however tight I stitch them in and they're just Going all over the place. Right, I think I'm gonna go through that once, once more. I don't think I could have done that with the shoulder thread. I think I made the right choice. So just tie that up.
Like, I always was going to do twice. Because twice is nice. Okay. Put my needle in there. So there is our buttons. So for this, I was thinking, I would have this here. And I would incorporate it as a type of closure. So I pulled out... Look, he's there barking. If shut the door. <laughs> I pulled out this because there was lots of it. And I don't know how. But I know it's got to go through. Well, I'm assuming. I don't know. Like this. Over that bar. And then through like that. Now I'm wondering if I could stitch that on the machine. How would I do that? What does it need stitching at all? Oh, I've just had a thought. Hold on. Crocodile. Could we just eyelid it? This? <laughs> that might be an extra added interest. What colour eyelid? I'm thinking a rose gold. Okay, where's the where's where is it? So it says through there like so. really want to punch that material. Just get my little scissors. Okay, where did I put the eyelet? Well, that's a silver one. We want to go over. We want a rose gold one, actually. And then take this and set it. to the babies. Oh, this was supposed to be easier than so on it, wasn't it? Well, it's attached. But it's not very neat. I don't like it. I don't like it. Cut it off. Cut it off. Get it off. That was a no go. That was a nice idea in TV. In practice, hated it. Right, I'm going to pink and share these out again because I like that look. Okay, so that went there. Like so. That went over. That went over. It goes over. I want to see what I can do, what magic I can do on the machine, and I'll be back. I did a lot of to and fro with the um, the zigzag stitch. Oh my goodness, what have I done? I didn't know. No, I wanted that through it. Oh my goodness, I'm all kind of puzzled. Okay, let's get off these loose threads. From a start. I think that looks presentable. So now I'll 
stitch that somehow under there. I think maybe I'll do this next. Okay. To the other end and just keep it as one continuous loop. So that'll go there. I'm not going to do two ways one. No, let's cut this in half. Because <laughs> I'm just going to get so confused. The other thing is, I'm hoping there's going to be enough. Because it's a chunky, a little a monkey. Okay. So it's going that side up. Yep. Okay. I'm going to go and zigzag stitch that. I'll be back. Okay. I've also got that one done. Right, so now, needle and thread, again just going to go with the green. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm all apart. Where do I want this? Hold on. Okay, that's where I've decided. No rhyme or reason, it's just what I've decided. So I think it needs to go a bit higher up. Okay, let's try and not stitch in anything that doesn't want to be stitched in. See, see, look, something that doesn't want to be stitched in, almost got stitched in. This is so fascinating for you. Me trying to... <laughs> I can't get the needle through! Got it! There you are, I just needed a little temper tantrum. He's speaking of temper tantrums. Um, the dog, my mum's dog, had to go and get tooth pulled. It was disgusting. Um, and he came home and he just cried and wouldn't look at anybody for three hours. And you know the thing that I think was bothering him the most? He's quite a vain dog. It made my sister always say if he could sing it would be I feel so pretty. I feel pretty, so pretty. Um, he kept looking at the little ball patch on his arm because I had to knock him out on his arm. It's a leg. He kept looking at it and licking it and I think that's that was the thing that was bugging him. Was that that shaved his little leg? His pretty little leg hair? Never mind the tooth pulled. But yeah, three hours. He just sat. Mm. Okay. And now it's like two days later and everyone's still baby, you know. <laughs> so cute. Okay. Oh, I love that. Right. I'm going to go away and do this one off camera because you were just so fascinated by that, weren't you? 
soon. I just have to sort of like line these up, don't I? It's about there. Okay, I will go do that and I will be back. I'm back very soon because look what I did. I snapped the needle in half. I got through one stitch. I'm strong. Who knew? Actually, it's probably had that much abuse. <laughs> okay, new needle. Both sides are stitched in. So I can't believe that about my needle. Okay. How long? I think these are ridiculously long. But bearing in mind, we want some room to go. I'm just wondering if I should have put the thread through there. The ribbon through there. <laughs> but we're not undoing it. Okay, I think if I cut these off about here, and we'll do the same from the other end. So, I can go, I can be there all beautiful like. Okay. Closure. Check. <laughs> I might be able to lose, I don't know. No, we'll keep, we'll keep the length as it is. Okay, obviously we now need to disguise this hot mess of the inside. So, I was playing. <laughs> I just need to cut that down. A 12 by 12 sheet wouldn't fit across because it's really wide. So I took one 12 by 12 sheet out of the scrapbook paper and I cut it into sections for this and then I had another sheet of this and I thought oh I like the other side of it but I put some of the lacy trim down it and I figured that could go across the middle like that. Now do I want a stitch down here? I think I might. But let's firstly glue these down. So, going to use ye old three in one because it's going on fabric, paper, thread, you name it. It's hitting a lot. So, if we want to sort of centralise it. I don't know why I'm doing dodgy accents. And smoosh it. down again with the dodgy accents let's do the other side now I'm just thinking <laughs> I could have stitched around these before I stuck them in to keep the sewing thing going but that's too late now but, but there's an idea for you okay Over a bit. We need some clips. I don't know yet. Okay. So then this will go across the gap like that. See now do I want to sew it if I haven't sewn around these? I think that would have been a nice touch you know. <laughs> I mean it's glued on there pretty good or not. <laughs> what is going on with this glue? Okay I'm going to go and stitch it and I'll be back. So I just did a quick straight stitch down either side. I didn't go across the top and bottom because there was no stitching around here. <laughs> so again, this needs gluing down. Okay, I'm just going, and it gives us something to hold actually without getting glue fingers. 
I'm just going to approximate the centre and glue that down. Ah, the glue erupted. Okay, okay. okay. And we'll just we'll hold it down for a bit. While we contemplate how to attach these two signatures. Uh, I get so nervous about attaching signatures. I'm just gonna have to wait till this glue dries as well. Okay, so I think what I have to do firstly is what do I have to do firstly? <laughs> Do I need to measure that? Let, let's measure that. That is. We'll say four centimetres. Because an even number seems like it's going to be better to work with. So let's write that down some way. Let's write that on this piece of paper. Four centimetres. I don't know why. I've completely forgotten how to bind a book, especially one with two signatures. Okay, I know what we need to do first. We need some clips. Okay, I've got me some Disney clips. So we'll take the first signature. And we line up all our pages. Our clips. And I believe we'll put one on this side, one on this side, and then one on this side, and one on this side. Okay, and we'll do the same for the second signature. Do I have enough clips? Yes, I do. So our two signatures clipped together. Look at those two to the inside of our cup. to decide at which interval I'm going to sew my holes. <laughs> you know what? Just Google Gail Gustinelli sewn in a signature or book binding or something because that lady We'll talk you through it. Do it. First of all, we mark our top. Okay. Then I'm going to measure the halfway point, which is approximately 10 centimetres. So half of that will be 5 and 15. But I think I'm going to come in at two and a half. And just because I don't trust my math skills, I'm, I'm moving that whole ruler down there. <laughs> it don't work off two and a half. So these are our points. Yes. Yes. Does that apply to here? Yes, it does. 
Okay. <laughs> the next one's going to be easy. The bit after that I'm procrastinating about. So firstly I need the book bind and stuff out. And just like that. Pure by magic. Yeah. Okay. We need to pick a colour thread. I've got black, I've got tan, I've got brown. Seems as it's going to be most visible from the outside. You know, I think I like the contrast of the tan colour. So it is. and a bit for luck. <laughs> We're going to need all the luck we can get. For, so it's three and a bit. The length of your journal for each signature. So I have two of those straps. Move you out of the way. You're getting in the way. Have an extra clip. Okay, I was going to say I had a thing to cover that up. Ta da! <sighs> then we have an all. Very sharp point tool. I have this piece of packing material and then we need a needle. Oh, why didn't I just go for the ring binding method? So I got this kit from Amazon. I'll try and link it down below. They're all different sizes. Let's let's go with that size to start off with. Right. Take one signature. Get the other one the way. I'm going to line the top of my bit of paper up with the top of my book I take my proggy tool resting on this bit of packing material to protect our surface I'm going to come in the root the crease and out the other side can you see that can you see it oh I must push through for look Okay, then I'm going to do the central hole. Nope, I lost it. I should probably have um, pinned this bit of paper into. Okay, and then the last one on the bottom. So, oh, and can you see the three holes? Okay, do that again. <laughs> okay, put the end back on what all for now. We'll figure this out. Move them for now. Okay, so we have our two signatures. You know what I'm just going to do? I'm going to get my pencil and just mark where they sit. Because that feels like the right thing to do. And mark where I want the top to be because we have got a lot of give each way. So if I line that up with that mark, and just mark those. I 
I'm just guesstimating. <laughs> I'm just guesstimating at this point. I'm making this look so difficult, aren't I? Okay. So three whole pamphlet stitches that we're going for. It's easier to start the front or the back. I feel like the back. <laughs> I don't know why. Right. So this is a wax thread. It just means it's easier to get through the holes. So I'm going to start at the inside centre with the back one. Pull that through but leave a nice tail. And then go through the centre of the back one. Like so, pull you over, trying to pull the top on the bottom, let's go bottom, okay, um, ow, I need my all again, because I can't see that hole from the outside, because of all of the leaves. helps and I ripped a nail. And then come through all these. Or not. And then I tend to go all the way up to the top. I know some people do it slightly differently. And then, um, push. And then I come back through the middle, try not to split the thread, which is really hard to do. Right, I've got the needle through the book, through the um, cover, but not through the pages. Good lord. Nope, <laughs> I'm not really hit my hands. This is not this difficult, I'm telling you. Okay, got it. Whew. One has to come over one side and one has to come over the other though. To so put that one on that side. Okay, make sure the tail is through. The tail is not through. The tail is not through. Right, we want everything to be nice and tight. As you can see, it is not. And I have somehow managed to split my thread, which we didn't want to do. I think I can just pull that out of the way. Okay. One on one side, one on the other. Oh my goodness. Oh, don't worry, I'm not going to make you sit through the other signature going in because I think that's going to be even harder. Still not very tight. <laughs> and this is the problem I had with me Alice in Wonderland journal. I was loosey goosey out here. If you can see, there's so much give. The 
but I can't pull it any tighter. So you know what? I had to make two feet. Oh, I'm gonna have to cut my nail down. Okay, so I'm just gonna tie this off. I'm gonna double knot it. Like so. And if I take these off, hopefully, hopefully, I love my pages are in. <laughs> that's not a page, that's just a journaling card. We're okay. <laughs> okay so I'm gonna go and do that again for the first signature and I'll do that off camera because that was so painful it was shocking I did it <laughs> I did it oh my goodness that was so stressful I hate someone in signatures everybody makes it look so easy but I think it's because I use thick paper and oh yeah no it is easy I just need more practice at it I think okay so we'll have a really big gap here I'm glad I went with some fancy dancy paper so I will do a flip through clip through video of this oh there was something else I wanted to add I found so remember, I don't know what they, I had this vintage, it had needles and stuff in it, little sword thing. I found like a modern day equivalent, so I'm going to put that somewhere. I don't know if like a little pocket here to put that in. Or, or what? How we could add this so that's something to ponder on i was also thinking do i want some of these on the front as well i don't know or is that just going to be too much no i think i'm going to leave it as is okay so there'll be a flip through video coming soon <laughs> let's tie this up let's get the full effect believe there may have been a better way to utilize these but I don't know what way that was <laughs> at the minute they just stick out but that's okay plenty of room to grow <laughs> so thank you so much for joining me in this shambolic video <laughs> this is why I don't bind on camera I don't want signatures on camera because I make hash of it. But I got there. So thank you so much for joining me and I will see you next time. Bye.